What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking a little bit about my overall philosophy as it pertains to Madden and some things that you can learn uh, based on how the 2020 season has shaped up and just some of the things that I would like to recommend as we head into the off season and as we head into a new Madden season. Alright guys, so um, just going to do a live gameplay here. Very, very straightforward. Um, got a little bit of a connection issue. Um, but this is kind of what I, a video that I've been wanting to do a lot, and it talks about kind of the overall basics of my offense and the basics of my defense. Um, so the, for my offense, I am in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook, and for my defense, I am in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. I'm running very similar things to what a lot of people uh, have been running this year. There's not a whole lot of nuance in my in my stuff. But I think my offense is a little bit unique. And the reason that I think that is because I haven't seen a lot of people in Arizona. I've seen, I think, maybe one or two. But uh, what I hope you get out of this, and I've done a lot of videos on the Arizona playbook and why I think it's one of the best playbooks for passing the ball this year. And so uh, in a year where it's very run heavy and all of the Madden Challenge players have you know, won the tournament running the ball, hopefully this can kind of shed some uh, fresh perspective on the game. So my overall philosophy in offense is very, very simple. Um, you know, basically what I try to do is, as he does a really weird thing on defense, um, what I try to do is I have basically two plays that I learn everything about. And I've talked a little bit about that before, but when I say I learn everything about them, I mean I learn every single thing about those plays. What defense can stop it? What defense can't stop it? What adjustments I need to do to pick up pressure? Everything about the plays. I commit to the plays. I commit to a power play, which is a play that goes in one strong direction. And I commit to a counter play, which is a play that looks like a power play, but it shifts in another direction another strategy that i use and i want to bring this back because i think in years um when i first started playing madden there was two people that influenced me more than anybody else and that was z farls and s gibbs you can look them up uh from maddentips.com i don't even know if the website is still active but this was a long time ago and they really made an impact on my philosophy as it pertains to madden they really helped me a lot and get better and I want to talk a little bit about their approach. So their approach is five, five sets for success. That's five different formations that you can basically use to accomplish five different things. So the five formations, the first one is a base formation. That's a formation that you come out in every single play, every single play. And that's a formation where you basically start. Okay, that's the formation, what I would call a power formation. So you've seen these formations before. Shotgun bunch is an example of a power formation. For me this year, shotgun spread from the Arizona playbook has been one of those power formations that I'm talking about. Um, shotgun doubles in the years past. Maybe you're a running guy, and this year one of the power formations is I form close. But a base formation is a formation in which you can run the ball, pass the ball, and get kind of an overall perspective on what the defense is doing. And maybe you have one or two plays that are just really powerful. For me, out of the spread, and my base play is often mesh. The second formation or second type of formation that you want to look for when you're creating uh, an offensive scheme is you want to look for a, for a formation that has a three-headed rushing attack and what i mean by a three-headed rushing attack is a, a way where you can run the ball right down the middle a way that you can run the ball outside on the left side and a way that you can run the ball outside on the right side for me in arizona um, that is the formation pistol y trips offset that's my three-headed rushing attack i could run the ball right down the middle with the read option i can run the ball outside with the stretch both ways and um, I also can, I can actually run the ball outside a little bit with the read option. I also accomplish that from the doubles Y offset uh, formation, but I'm very rarely in that set. 
if you've watched the if you watch me play a million times, you've probably very rarely seen me. Another way to do it is to maybe use some single back bunch. So for example, a run to the right, so a quick pitch, a run to the left, so pitch wide receiver reverse, and then a run right down the middle, so HB slash fake end around. That's an example of a three-headed rushing attack. A way that you can run the ball to the right, a way that you can run the ball to the left, and a way that you can run the ball right at the defense. So any anyone um, can have a any playbook can have a good three-headed rushing attack. So the first formation, first type of formation is a base formation. This the second type of formation is a three-headed rushing attack. The third type of formation is a formation that is specifically designed to take advantage and to beat man-to-man defenses. So what is the if if your opponent is going to run man-to-man defense, what is the formation that you're going to want to go to to beat that coverage? For me, um, I love the bunch cluster this year to beat man-to-man. I also love this spread, but there's different formations that are typically stronger at it. There's different plays even that are very strong at it, and different route concepts, different route combinations. So if an opponent is calling heavy man-to-man coverage, my question is, what's your play call? Having a plan to beat man-to-man defense, because you will see man-to-man defense um, this year, especially this year. With how effective, uh, with how effective man-to-man defense really is. So the first formation is base play. The second formation is three-headed rushing attack. The third formation is man beaters, and the fourth formation is zone beaters. So what do you do when they're calling a lot of zone defenses? This is where gun bunch comes in. This is where gun trips from the Pats playbook comes in. This is where a lot of those types of formations really come in handy because um, if your opponent is kind of sticking with zone defense, maybe your base formation doesn't always beat zone uh, very well. Maybe it kind of beats a little bit of both, but if someone's really dominantly running zone defense, you know, what do you call? What's your route combinations? What's your plan? And so the fourth type of formation is a zone beating formation that could take Typically, that's a three-by-one type of formation where there's three wide receivers to one side or four wide receivers even to one side, and then one wide receiver to the other side. Now, again, it doesn't have to be that, but that's just kind of what uh, typically happens. The last type of formation that they recommend for your offense to be successful, and they call it the five sets for success. The last type of formation is the X factor. The X X factor formation and or and what I often do and what I often tell people is this is the formation that you want to have at your disposal for people who are blitzing you heavily. So someone is if you're playing a game of Madden and there you just cannot get them to stop blitzing you. What is your plan? What is your defensive or your offensive set that you're going to you're going to then use? Because for most people, they don't really have a plan, and that's why they can't beat the blitz. That's why most people in Madden uh, who send heavy, heavy, heavy pressure, part of the reason that they send that heavy pressure is because most people have never practiced how to actually beat a blitz and what do you do and, and how you kind of go about that. Now, typically, those kind of formations are formations where you can block right edge pressure, left edge pressure, and double edge pressure. So a way that you can do that oftentimes is through uh, getting the running backs involved, getting the tight ends involved, getting maybe an up back involved that could maybe pick up both. Pistol formations actually are pretty good for this as well, but this is also a two back set. A two back set is typically really, really effective for beating uh, for beating zone blitzing scheme or um, for bleeding uh, for beating uh, multiple edge blitzing schemes. Okay. So there's multiple different sets, but every playbook has something in it where you're going to be able to pick up right edge, left edge and double edge pressure. And that's often what I like to do. And when you find the formation that does that really well, I also like to make sure that I've got, you know, some quick passes and some quick passes and some things like that that I can utilize. 
the shotgun split offset in Arizona is one of the better um, max protect kind of formations that I've seen in the game this year. Um, there's a lot that you can do from it. There's a lot of flexibility that it offers you uh, and the ability to be able to max protect and make reads. So I love that formation. Uh, if I were to say, like, if I got in a no huddle situation, and part of the reason you want to do this is because, oh man, I just, terrible stick there. Part of the reason you want to do this is because if you're in a no huddle situation, you can access all five of your sets from the line of scrimmage. And so sometimes what you want to do is have that, or I mean, you always want to have that worked into your quick audibles. So you can easily audible to that max protect play or even that quick pass play, that X factor play that's going to set you apart. And so for me in Arizona Cardinals, the split offset, uh, the two back set out of shotgun that has the mesh is really critical. And then I'll show you another set that I really like um, out of the, so this right here is the play. Um, I go to these two, uh, the split slot. This is the play. Like if they're blitzing me a lot, you'll see me run uh, a lot of this, a lot of this type of set here. And you see, I can run a couple of different types of running plays, but if it's just, you know, if I'm just trying to, uh, you know, beat the standard pressures that people are running from my standard sets, you'll see me slip into a Y trips week. Uh, you'll see me slip into a shotgun wing trio is what it used to be called. And I don't think it's called that anymore. Um, let me check and see after we go to the huddle here and I'll show you what it's called. The, the shotgun open flex. That's another good uh, blitz pickup set, but I'll go to the wide trips week. Um, the doubles, I'll basically motion the running back to the other side. Um, I'll even, when I want to beat pressure, if I want to beat the heavy blitzing pressure, I'll actually, and it's not very easy to do it from Arizona. That's probably one of the one weaknesses is it doesn't have that great of a set if they blitz. So when people do blitz me, I do have a little bit harder of a time because my blitz beating formation is not as good as everything else I can do. But as you can see, that corner route right there is just beautiful. And it just consistently, consistently dominates people. But anyways, to recap, the first formation you want to have when you're trying to set up your five sets for success is a base play. And you've seen a lot of that this game. The second formation is a three-headed rushing attack. I'll show you that right here, what I'm talking about. So I'm going to check down into the pistol. Um, F lead, F lead option uh, here. i got to hurry or we're going to run out of time. But you see here, I can run to the middle, I can run to the outside, and I can even, I have the stretch in my quick audibles as well. The second type of formation is three-headed rushing attack. The third type of formation is man-to-man. -man. So if he's showing me a man-to-man -man pressure look. So like right here, he's showing me a man aligned look. So I'm going to check down into the gun cluster. And I can go to my uh, different different routes here as well and here you see uh, he ends up going zone I'm gonna go ahead and just scramble with Mahomes almost lose the football because I can't slide but and then also the third type of set is man the fourth type of set is a zone beating formation uh, which I'll show you my version I like the cluster but also another really good formation to beat zone this year is the shotgun bunch quads with the play spot and what I like to do is I like to take uh, Travis Kelsey. I like to drag him. And that's pretty much the only adjustment I make. Um, I'll, show, I'll show you that play here real quick. But I love bunch quads because you have four people to one side, which gives you a lot of different options. Um, and you have that really back-breaking power route to the left. And we're just not being able to snap the ball. It's just amazing. But anyway, that's how you that's how I would go about creating a five sets for success. And this is something that you want to start doing if you want to start kind of making your own scheme or you want to start preparing for the next Madden. What I would do is kind of just go through playbooks and just randomly test out all the different uh, all the different types of playbooks that you can use. One other thing I could do is put McCole Hardman on like a slant. I wish I could motion uh, Williams, but I can't. But anyway, this is basically the, the zone beater. 
and you'll see that route right there typically works better than that. He got me pretty good with that zone hawk, but the other route that I really like is the gun bunch, um, the gun cluster, because again, you get that four people to one side of the field. Let me show you that real quick. This is the other uh, formation I like, and I like just the standard mesh play. And then what I like to do is I'll take um, Travis Kelsey, I'll put him on a fade, I'll motion the running back, let's see if I can motion the running back out, I can't, but he's going to basically take the flat, and then you'll see um, that corner is going to be wide open to Tyreek Hill. And I can throw that all day. I can over and over again throw that. It's very consistent against zone coverage. Corner routes this year just destroy zone coverage. But anyways, that's what I would do. So that is kind of one of those things that's from year to year. Everybody that you watch, they have a really good five set for success. And some people don't even need five sets. You know, I often don't need five sets. I can typically do just fine with uh, one or two. But what I want to encourage you to do is... Make, just make sure that you have a play that beats man, a play that beats zone, a play that beats the blitz, a play that is kind of your starting out play, and then a play that is um, a running play. Some type of thing that's going to help you run the ball effectively um, will be really critical to have. So that's kind of how you go about getting your five sets for success on offense. Now, defense, it's a little bit different. I mean, it's kind of the same. It's kind of the same, but it's a little bit different. And that was one of the best plays of all time there by Brandon Williams. Um, take my, my field goal. So on defense, the five sets for success, the first set is a base set, a set that you can come out in and just kind of get an idea for what the opponent is going to do. The second set for success is a man blitz that can go right, left, and double edge. Okay, so a man blitz that you can send off the right edge, off the left edge, and if you had to, off of both edges. That's typically the best way to go about your defense. So, for example, nickel 335 is kind of my base set. And then when I want to send pressure off of both edges from this set, what I'll do is I'll go to the 236. And I'll send pressure off of that from man, a man blitz, and a zone blitz. So, like right here, he's coming out in a passing set. So, I'll show you here. So basically that's that's the that's the setup out of the two three six wheel and I'll just kind of hang here and again it doesn't work every time and I don't know this defense enough to tell you that this is the exact setup that most of the pros are using but I know that that's one of them. Um, but I'll send but basically you want to have a man blitz and a zone blitz so you want to have a base play. A man blitz, a zone blitz, a run defense, and a max coverage defense from man and zone. So it's a little bit different on defense of how you do it, but it's still kind of the same concept. And typically, and this is why I use the Baltimore playbook this year, because in the Baltimore playbook, what you, what you can do is... Uh, one sec here, let me get these guys subbed in. With the Baltimore playbook, what you can do is you can have multiple sets for multiple different things. So I can have a set that I like against the run, and then I can have a set that I like against the pass. And I can have a set that I go max coverage. I can have a set that I, um, you know, I can have a base set. For me, my base set is the 335. I can then audible from 335 into a run D out of the 335 wide nine. I also have um, my 245 odd. I have that kind of set up as well uh, when I'm when I'm doing things the right way. So here I'll show you um, I'll show you kind of what I do. I just run the pinch. 
And then it's just a simple six band pressure. But just a simple six band pressure off both edges. And I like that. I like that set a lot. There he got me with that no huddle. But um but anyway, from my nickel 335, this is kind of my base defense. I can go to the 335 wide. I can also go to the 245 odd. So you'll see, watch what I do here. So I'm going to come out in 335 because that gives my formations. And then I'm going to audible um, into the pinch. And there my defense gets a good stop. But that's kind of how the five sets for success work Success work on the defensive side of things. And again, you know, if, they're, if you're playing someone who's really good, they're going to keep you kind of on your toes a little bit with all this stuff. So it can't just be a simple formula. But this is just a simple way that you can kind of play, have a little bit of a standardized, proactive scheme that you could utilize against anything that you're going to come across in Madden. One other thing that I want to talk about a little bit briefly here is the idea of having a red zone play, a red zone money play. And a red zone money play this year is harder than it's ever been, in my opinion, because man coverage is not only, or not man coverage, but because a lot of emphasis is placed on running the ball this year. But for some reason, at least this is my personal opinion, I find it's actually harder to run the ball once you get inside the 10-yard line. It's not as easy for me. It's not as straightforward. One real quick thing on my five sets for success. So for me, the 3-4 bear, that's my run defense. The nickel 3-5 normal, that's kind of my standard defense. The nickel 3-5 odd, that's kind of my... Uh, defense that I go to um, nickel two for five odd is kind of the defense I go to if I'm in a no huddle situation and I can't um, I can't get to my pass defense, which typically is the big time two three six or the big time two three six will. Another defense I really like this year is just running straight up quarters, and the reason I like this. Um, I'm going to burn a timeout here. The reason I like quarter normal is if you have if you have really good corners or if you have corners that can play in man to man, then what you can do um, very easily is you can run kind of this quarter normal kind of two man um two man under scheme so you get that trail coverage but here i like the man up three deep you know for late one time i did not call that and it ended up costing me most people would say man up three deep is the way to go but you still want to match what your opponent's doing and this year i think more than ever one of the key 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 tips for defense is to not pick your defensive play until your opponent picks his offensive formation because what I find myself doing a lot of times is you get an autopilot and you just kind of stay in your base defense, which for me would be some type of nickel set, nickel three through five, nickel two, four, five odd, that kind of thing. But what happens is if you're not careful, you never set up your three, four, you never set up your, uh, and so what happens is when you get in a situation where you need your three, four, you don't know um, you don't know how to access it. Oh, I just got completely roasted on the run there. You got a shoestring. Um, so what I would encourage you to do is to never pick your play. Never pick your offensive or uh, never pick your defensive play until you have allowed them to pick their offensive formation. Because if they come out in three wide receivers, 
um, chances are they're not going to run because this year it's much, 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 much more effective to run from a two back or to run from a jumbo heavy type of set. Right now the guy's just quick snapping me a lot. And you have to have a little bit of a plan for everything. But I like to go through, and as I have time, which I haven't done a great job of this game, but as I have time setting up my um, packages so that in the right moment, see like right here, here's the quarter two man under that I was talking about. And basically I just blitz two people and try to kind of keep him trying to try to force him to roll to the left side. And then I just kind of hang out over here and the defense. I find that two men under that quarter, two man to be one of the most effective defenses in the game this year. I mean, one by far, one of the most effective defenses, because what happens is as this guy goes ahead and quits out, what happens is man coverage is just so good this year. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope this was helpful, but this is how you could kind of go about creating your own offensive and defensive.